Hello, trading is closed on February 22nd, 2016. I've been away from the market for a few days. I hope to get back in the swing of things by tomorrow. In any event, we said that one of the possibilities was a gap outside of uh, Friday's range, and that's what happened. It's what we needed to prevent lower prices from printing on Friday. During the day, MEJT over here says ultimately lower prices would print. Here's the target, support under the target. Um, said this rally is a false move. Gives us this target after this time, which was hit. No new target for tomorrow. Uh, that F is a misprint. I don't know where that came from. Well, we have a gap up, rally all day, and we can't go, we can't close over these early highs. That calls for lower prices tomorrow unless we have a gap over these highs. Futures are down smartly, and I think based on somebody else's work, that we're not going to get a recovery over these highs, and that lower prices will print tomorrow. I don't know if they're going to be any lower than futures are now. We do have a combo sell signal on the 78-minute chart. And we have an ominous um, ABC with C equal to A on a potential wave count. We have been saying for some time that this gold line should be recovered, and we did close over that line. So that's been done. I had this line here as a target. <clears throat> Nothing's impossible. It still looks kind of out of reach to me. For tomorrow, I look for lower prices as far as the intermediate term is concerned. I, um, I'm not convinced that this rally's over. I could change my mind. But I just don't see the the plethora of negative signals I usually get at significant highs. Um, longer term, I still think the high for the six plus year bull is is um, in, and that we're going to be dropping much much lower. But that doesn't mean we can't go higher than today's close first. Once again, the call for tomorrow is lower prices absent the gap over these highs, and I don't think that gap's going to happen.